reference angles. An acute angle between 0 to 90 degrees is a reference angle for a given angle. The reference angle is the positive acute angle between the terminal side and the x-axis. We'll take few examples and make the things clear. We need to find the reference angle for 135 degrees, 210 degrees, negative 121 degrees, and 200 degrees. Let me plot the angles first. So I have plotted all the angles. 135 is below 180, so it is in the second quadrant. 210 is above 180, so goes in the third quadrant. Negative 121 going in this direction. So it's 90 here in this, and then more comes here. 200 degree goes same like that one. Now, where is my reference angle? So the first one, my reference angle is here. We said that it will be between the terminal site and the x-axis in the positive direction. So how do I get that one? The hole is 180 minus 135. So we get 45 degrees. That's the reference angle. Now, when I'm here, 210, so my reference angle is this one in the positive direction. So this one you get 210 degree minus 180 degree. So that gives you uh, 30 degree. Now when I'm here, my reference angle will be from this side, positive direction, x-axis and the terminal side. So that one I can just find 180 minus 121. That will give me that direction. So then this one is 9 here, 5, 59 degrees. If it is 200, my reference angle will be here, and that one is 200 degree minus 180. That gives me 20 degree. I'll take another example. Suppose I'm interested to find the reference angle of 320 degrees. So let us draw the angle. So 320 degree will come somewhere here in the fourth quadrant. This is terminal side and this is 320 degree because you know this 180 to 78 it goes a little more so 320 now this is the positive direction from terminal to x-axis and this one will be now 360 degree minus 320 degree this is 40 degrees so we are done with reference angles in degree measures we'll see now in radian measure now we are taking a radial measure. An acute angle between 0 to pi by 2 is a reference angle for a given angle. So we are given those angles. We need to find the reference angle. So let us draw the picture. It is a good idea to see how the measures are given. If I have a complete rotation, which is 2 pi, it's approximately 6.28. Pi by 2 is 1.57, pi is 3.14, I'm taking two decimal places. Pi, 3 pi by 2 is 4.71. Now, this will help us to understand the location of this. So first let me try with negative 2 pi over. So this measure here is less than pi, so I'm taking negative pi and plus pi by 3. So then you can see the location now. So negative pi is going here. And then you come a little more on this side because it's a positive. So your reference angle is this one, which is pi by 3. And we are in third quadrant for this. We'll do that one now. 15 pi over 4 can be written as 4 pi. I'm always going with multiple of pi. So 4 pi minus pi by 4 pi. That means two complete rotations, one, two, and then I have negative, so it's going back here. So I need to measure this one from the positive direction. So in this case, I can ignore the negative sign. Just pi over 4 is my reference, and we are in quadrant fourth. Negative 7 pi over 6 can be written as negative pi minus pi over 6. So what happens now? negative pi goes here and then pi over 6 again this one so my measure is this one is the reference angle i can ignore the sign and just say pi by 6 and we are in quadrant second 
Now let us look at the last part. We have 5 radian. This is a radian measure. So where is my 5? You can look at this here. So this is 6.28 and this is 4.71. So 5 will be somewhere here. Somewhere. We don't need to find exactly. Now you can see that this is your 5 radian measure. So where is the reference? This one. And how do you get that one? That reference will be minus 5. So this is my reference angle for this. And we have found this one in quadrant fourth. I hope you have understood. So the final conclusion, negative 2 pi over 3 has a reference angle 3 pi over 3. It is in the third quadrant. 15 pi over 4 has a reference angle pi by 4. And it is in the fourth quadrant. You can see the terminal side. Negative 7 pi over 6 goes in the second quadrant. And the reference angle is pi by 6. All positive because you see the definition here is a positive acute angle. And then since I have 5 radian, it is between these two angles, which is 4.71 and 6.28. So it is going in the fourth quadrant. And my angle is this portion, which is 2 pi minus 5. And we are done.